Building muscle is one of the most sought-after goals in fitness, but it often comes with unrealistic expectations. With the rise of social media transformations and supplement marketing, many people believe they can dramatically change their physique in just a few months. The truth is that building muscle naturally is a slow, steady process that requires patience, consistency, and smart training. How much muscle can you actually build? On average, a natural trainee, someone not using performance-enhancing drugs, can expect to build about 1 to 2 pounds of muscle per month during their first year of serious, structured training. This number depends on several factors like genetics, training quality, nutrition, and recovery habits. For beginners, this means potentially 10 to 20 pounds of new muscle in their first year if everything is done correctly. However, progress naturally slows down over time. After the first year, muscle growth typically reduces to around half a pound per month, and it continues to taper off each year. This phenomenon is often referred to as diminishing returns. The more muscle you build, the harder it becomes to add even more. Example Muscle Growth Timeline First year, 10 to 20 pounds of muscle second year, 5 to 10 pounds third year and beyond. 2 to 5 pounds per year these numbers are averages. Some individuals may build slightly more or slightly less based on their unique circumstances. Factors that influence muscle growth speed Several major factors affect how fast and effectively someone can build muscle naturally. Training. Progressive overload is key. Consistently challenging your muscles with more weight more reps, or better technique over time is necessary for growth. Nutrition. Muscle building requires a calorie surplus and sufficient protein intake, around 0.7 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight daily. Sleep and recovery. Muscles grow outside the gym, not during workouts. Getting at least 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night and managing stress levels play a major role. Genetics. Genetic factors influence how efficiently someone can build and recover muscle. Some people naturally gain muscle faster, while others have to work harder for smaller results. Consistency. Perhaps the most important factor. Sticking to a good plan for months and years without giving up during plateaus. Without alignment across all of these areas, muscle growth will be slower or might stall altogether. Setting realistic expectations for many beginners. Noticeable changes in strength often happen within four to eight weeks of starting a training program, mostly due to neuromuscular adaptations. Your body becomes more efficient at using your existing muscle. Visible changes in muscle size usually require three to six months of consistent effort. Most people will experience modest but noticeable improvements, such as firmer arms, broader shoulders, or slightly larger legs, after about half a year. A major physique transformation. The type of before and after photos that flood the internet generally takes two to five years of disciplined natural training, not 12 weeks as many programs falsely advertise. The importance of patient building muscle naturally is a marathon, not a sprint. Many people get frustrated when they don't see dramatic changes quickly and either quit or jump from program to program. In reality, steady, small improvements lead to big changes over time. Instead of focusing solely on the end goal, it's important to fall in love with the process, getting stronger, eating better, sleeping well, and making small improvements session by session. So, how long does it take to build muscle naturally? Realistically, you can expect to see initial changes within a few months and significant physique improvements over two to five years of consistent, smart effort. It's not quick, and it's not easy, but that's what makes it meaningful. If you found this video helpful make sure to hit subscribe and remember, stay consistent. Train smart. Eat well. And be patient. Natural muscle growth rewards those who commit for the long haul.